What is good, YouTube? JB here, and this is going to be episode 16 of my How to Make Easy Coins series for Madden Ultimate Team 25. Now, if you're a little bit confused right now about why I'm on NCAA, don't worry, this is a Madden Ultimate Team 25 How to Make Easy Coins video. This is a video series where I show you guys tips and tricks on how to make some easy coins, and I'm going to talk about the big league collections right here. Uh, you see, when you complete these collections, you actually receive a premium pack in NCAA Ultimate Team, but you also receive a jumbo reward pack in Madden Ultimate Team 25. Now, I've known about this for quite a while and uh, there's two collections one for offensive players one for defensive players the reason I didn't make this video a little bit earlier is because the players were way 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 too overpriced uh, when this collection first came out now it's been a little while and I've kind of checked up on the auction house and the players prices has uh, has pretty much dropped a lot you know there's not many people on NCAA ultimate team anymore just as it is and so I would recommend doing the defensive one instead of the offensive one just because there's a lot um, less higher rated players in the defensive collection there's only one that's over 90 and I'll come I'll actually go and show you a couple of these uh, QBs I was already looking at uh, from the offensive collection you can already tell that their price has already dropped a lot but the thing with NCAA ultimate team is that no one's really on here and if you're like me and you have a bunch of spare coins sitting here pretty much doing nothing nobody's gonna trade you MSP for them or PSN cards they're just gonna sit there they're gonna go to waste so um, you know this could be an option for you a, a great way for you to make some extra coins in Madden ultimate team maybe if you get lucky you know what I mean because by opening one of these jumbo reward packs but here you see a we I mean um Bradford used to be pretty overpriced and now he's kind of he's actually reasonable he can get him for under 10,000 coins and even same with weeding at least you can get these guys for under 10,000 coins now trust me before they were crazy inflated they're going for a lot and uh, there's just not many people on NCAA Ultimate Team I've heard a lot about uh, for next gen consoles how Madden Ultimate Team 25 is going to let you transfer over uh, over a thousand of your cards that are in your reserves and your active roster and some of your coins and stuff like that FIFA is going to let you do it as well it's going to let you transfer your coins and your players over to the next gen console and I haven't heard anything about NCAA Ultimate Team and I feel like if you don't use your uh, coins or players and stuff that you have now uh, I, I don't think you're ever going to get compensated for it so it's something to think about by doing this collection it might be helpful to do it now rather than before when everything was overpriced so if you guys enjoyed this tip I know not everybody can uh, necessarily do it but hopefully you guys uh, do like the advice and just like this video and go ahead and drop a like if you did and as always everyone go ahead and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel take care everyone good luck with uh, your methods of making coins and and peace.